Leia from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to edit in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017. In the previous tutorial we saw the overview of Premiere Pro and how to assemble our footage before starting to edit. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check out that video before you watch this video. Alright, so let's open up Premiere Pro and get started. Alright, so here we are back into Premiere Pro and we're going to look at editing right now. So we have our selections all done. I'm going to close my sequences and I'm going to create a whole new sequence. Creating a new sequence is done by going to the project manager, window project manager. Yeah, you should actually see it, uh, project that's right here and you can create here a new item. If you click on that, you can see a bunch of new things that you can create. We need a sequence. Sequence is a new timeline, so that's basically the same. Here you have a bunch of available presets. You can also go custom and save presets for things that you mostly use, like 4K YouTube or Full HD, uh, whatever you want. So what I mostly do is actually start out from an available preset. So we'll go here, Ari, and go for a Full HD. So Full HD is actually 1080p, and I'm going for 30 FPS, um, going to settings, and here I can still change all my settings. So this is a preset, but I can still change everything. And actually, I don't really need to change anything because it's Full HD, square pixels, and 30 FPS. Um, but if you want to, you can do that right here and then save this as a preset, and then it will appear right here at the custom folder. If you have something that you want and you can create a new sequence name, timeline 01 for example and then click OK. OK, so you have your timeline where you want to do your complete editing and you also have a selection of sequences right here from all your selected footage, so all the footage that you liked that you want to use in your final edit. We can go and look into, into these sequences and then just copy one of these and paste them right here in our original timeline. But as you know, uh, my selection here has been done in 4K and my final comp is here in Full HD. So what I will do is click on my footage and scale it back to 50%, which will make my 4K footage become Full HD because for my preferences, that's, that's what I need. But right here we can actually see that my footage is a little bit of angled. Uh, so I want to fix that. I want to fix my hor uh, horizon here. So I will click on my footage zoom it back in a little bit so go with the arrow up and down and then I will click on rotation and just rotate it just a touch like so and then move it to whatever I want and there we can see it it's getting rotated so that's why I zoomed in a little bit to fix that as well so now we have a straight angled camera uh, so we can yeah animate position scale whatever that you need you can do all the animation using these stopwatches here um, but that's for a whole different kind of tutorial and then we have here the opacity and yeah the time remapping for speeding and slowing things down and here we have our audio but we don't really have any audio as i said so we can unlink this so if you click on your footage uh, currently it was linked but if you're going to right click select everything we can also relink it right here so click on the footage right click and here we can unlink it and then I can just delete my audio uh, because I don't really need it as a, it didn't benefit to my final edit. We can select another part of our selection. So right here, copy and go back to my timeline 01. And then wherever I want to paste it, I can paste it again and just snap it together. I'm actually going to be using some of my audio. So I will right click import and I will use some music from Dizzy Tracks. A link will be in the description to this channel and they offer free music to be used in uh, YouTube movies and stuff like that. So uh, definitely check out that channel. So I will use my audio right here. I will drag it into my com in my timeline and I will drag it to one of the layers of audio right here. We can mute it. We can solo it. And yeah, that's basically what you can do. If you drag this down, you can also play here. Um, with the DC bells, you want to silence it down, you can do that right here. Um, yeah, let's reset this to zero right here. And you can also click on the audio and do it right here in your effect controls. Just press zero and there we have it. Um, this is automatically going to create a new keyframe. If we don't want a keyframe, we can just click on the stopwatch, click OK. And then whatever settings you change uh, are going to be on the whole track. So 
we have some music. I'm actually going to mute it and just for this tutorial preview. So uh, if you screw up, you don't actually hear my audio. Now you can zoom in, so drag it over here. And like most of the time, if you want to uh, switch uh, shots of a movie, you want to do it on a kind of beat or whatever, and de depending on whatever choice you're making. But right here we have a nice beat. And yeah, of course, if I would be editing on my own, I would first play it until something that fits. Uh, but now we can actually cut it right here. So I want this clip to start right here. To do that, we can do multiple things. We can cut this down and click on the footage and hold Alt and press Backspace. This is going to uh, snap my other parts to that. Or we can press W, but you will see that this will also affect the audio. So I will, so I will Control Z to undo and then just also lock my audio. So most of the time you want your audio to stay in this position and edit your video along your audio. So I'll click on the audio and lock it. And now if we're going to click on my footage and press W, um, this is going to cut everything behind it and snap my other video next to it. That's a handy kind of hotkey W and for the other side we can actually use Q and that's going to cut um, the first part off and it's going to snap to the uh, time scrubber of course. So now we have our video we can play it and right here we will have a cut. Also my motion if we click and go to effect controls should also be 50% and zoom it in a little bit and rotate it a little bit because of the angled gimbal there but yeah now we have our cut between our footage with this here we can just lower the opacity uh, which I actually never use um, because I'm not doing any overlay kind of things um, but yeah now we also can render portions out as you can see right here we currently have a yellow bar on top of our timeline this is just to say that it's not rendered but it will most likely play smoothly so if we're going to play this we can still see our video and it doesn't have any effects applied to it so that's why it's yellow if we are going to render this out we uh, need to go to sequence render into out and this is going to calculate everything in between um, these frames here and it's going to turn up green so you can see once it finished one of these tracks you can see it becomes green and for the other one as well and now it's going to play very smoothly and yeah you shouldn't have any delay if we're going to apply an effect to it for example uh, let's go color balance for example this is going to appear red because it has a effect applied to it again the same thing we can render into out or you can just hit return on the keyboard but this is going to render the effect and nothing apart from that so by going to if by going render into out it's going to render everything also the video and it's going to cache everything in the background so that you can actually play everything smoothly if you're just hitting return on the keyboard it's only going to render the effects so that it understands the effect so there we have it uh, we currently have our footage with our effect applied which we didn't tweak um, but effects are going to be displayed in your effect controls so if you click on your footage go to effect controls if we close everything down it's going to stack up right here we have the color balance so effects are also in the panel effects as you can see right here we have video effects video transitions audio transitions uh, audio effects lumetry P uh, presets your own presets and a custom bin which I don't really need so I'm going to close this down okay so that's basically on how you start editing in your timeline right here you see your time you can also enter a time code right here so if we're going for two seconds hit enter it's going to uh, take your scrubber to two seconds um, which you can see right here and also uh, yeah of course this is called a scrubber and then right here we also have our tools uh, right now it's on the top left and everything here is track select forward so this is um, something really handy and is uh, and you can go to it with the hotkey A and this is something that I really use a lot but if you have a complete timeline so let me duplicate this duplicating footage is done using alt and dragging it out like so uh, right now you can see that my footage isn't snapping to each other you can also enable that and I mostly use that uh, while editing and you can do that by going to sequence and press snap or just press S on the keyboard and this is going to snap all my footage nicely together so now we have a bunch of footage and we want to select everything apart from this footage here so if you're going to press A on the keyboard and click on this footage 
It's also going to select our audio file, but if we lock it, it's not. So now we can drag this and just position it somewhere different. And yeah, everything behind the arrows are going to be selected. So we can drag that over here. Same way goes for uh, select backwards. That's everything before our arrows. We can drag this out and reposition this. And then we have the rolling edit, uh, which enables us to go in between the clip and then just arrange our time. And on the top right, you can see that our footage, uh, well, where it ends and where it starts. So we can do that this way. Rate stretch is something that I barely use. And then we have the razor tool, which cuts into my footage, of course. And then we can uh, go to our selection tool, click on one of our files and just delete it. If we're just going to delete it, it's going to um, yeah, leave a gap into your timeline. If we undo this, click on it and hold alt while deleting it. Uh, well, while clicking backspace, uh, this is going to uh, snap everything behind it to my time scrubber. So that's great and really handy. Then right here we have our hand tool or pen tool for masks. Um, but yeah, these things are not too important. We have our slide tool, uh, which slides footage over. Another neat trick is when you have footage and you decide to use this footage right over here, you can hold control and drag it right over here and then release it. And that's going to put it in between there. So that's also really nice and alt for copying as I already said. So that's basically on how you start editing. Uh, we go back to our selection, take another shot, go back to our timeline and paste it in here and then just drag it over here. All right, so that's it for editing. I will definitely be making more advanced tutorials in the future, but this is a nice way to get started. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. Also subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you so much for watching and good